Hello Junior High! Today is Wonderful Wednesday, May 8th. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Grayson. And hello, I'm Peter. We're so excited to be here on today's video announcements. Now let's please stand in honor of this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Robotics. If you are interested in joining the junior high robotics team next year, please plan to attend an organizational meeting today, Wednesday, May 8th, in Miss Jarvis's room, 1101 during Flex Bell. Beta Club members. Seventh graders have received a green Beta Club invite. All Beta Club applications need to be submitted to Google Classroom. And all membership fees need to be given to Mrs. Darbyshire by Friday, May 10th. There will be no exceptions for late applications or fees. Again, that is all 7th graders that received a Green Beta Club invite only. Aviators, are you looking at joining the, the High Flying Water Polo Squadron next fall? Do you want a chance to compete in Sycamore's newest facility, the Seager Family Natatorium, and help bring home the next championship? Come meet the coaches of the Varsity Squadron during Flex Bell tomorrow, Thursday, in the Auxiliary Gym. Now to Mr. Stern and Mr. Rodriguez for some important announcements in our Character War recipients. Hello, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern and Mr. Rodriguez here to do this week's Character Awards. Um, before we do that, we have a uh, quick sports announcement, and this comes from the high school. So this is going to be for rising 8th graders. So rising 8th graders, or we call it rising 9th graders? Rising 9th graders. I think they're... I think the, for the 9th graders next year. Yeah, those, those of you who will no longer be with us. Um, they are having a meeting on Thursday. This will take place in the Ox Gym, and it says, Are you looking at joining the high-flying water polo squadron next fall? Do you want a chance to compete in Sycamore's newest facility, the Seeger Family Natatorium, and help bring home the next championship? Come meet the coaches to the varsity squadron. So again, this is going to be water polo, and this is boys and girls. So if you are thinking about um, trying something new, or uh, maybe you've got a little bit of experience, uh, definitely attend this meeting during Flex Bell on Thursday. Where, where are we meeting? Ox Gym. Ox Gym. We're meeting in the Ox Gym. Got it. So, um, we're filming this on Tuesday. I think this goes out on Wednesday. Thursday will be two weeks before eighth grade day. Um, definitely starting to get some questions about eighth grade day. Some of those are related to equipment. Can I bring my sports equipment to eighth grade day? And yeah, eighth grade day has always been kind of a big fun um, playing sports. Uh, there's a big giant field. Um, I know Mr. Jones, Mr. Tanaka have um, gotten soccer games going. Um, I know uh, we've got quite a few teachers. Um, I know Mr. Reese is one of them that typically runs a basketball tournament, but we've also had students bring lacrosse sticks, um, baseball mitts, and um, frisbees. softball gear, frisbees. Um, so yes, definitely uh, you can bring that gear uh, with you to eighth grade day. So eighth grade day, big fun day, certainly looking forward to it. That is the day to celebrate you. But again, we've been talking about, does everyone get to go to eighth grade day? And no, not everyone gets to go to eighth grade day. And we are starting to hone in on some of those individuals. So what are we looking for? So we're looking for students who have multiple failing grades. So if that is you, you've got a couple of weeks to get that going. The other thing is um, massive referrals. So some of you think that oh, a referral is just when Mr. Cole or Mr. Meyer or Mr. Cern sees me, that's not necessarily true. We're talking about staff managed referrals and office managed referrals. So if you know that your teacher has been logging the multiple times you're getting an in-class referral, we can see those and we'll be looking at those as well. And one of the things that we definitely want to push out there is being truant to class. So there's a, a list of names that I'm looking at right now um, as far as not going to eighth grade day. And some of those students have massive truancy to class. So if you're thinking, man, I'm just, I'm just late to class. This doesn't really count as a referral. Yeah, if it's logged, it counts as a referral. So make sure you're getting to class on time, you're being respectful uh, to your peers and, and your teachers, um, and you're just doing what, what you're supposed to do as a mm -hmm. typical student. So most students don't get any referrals, right. and I think uh, I think 
think that surprises some of our high flyers. What do you mean? Some people get no referrals. Right. Yeah, most most people get no referrals. True. So let's talk about some great students Absolutely. that uh, we want to give shout outs to. Right. Um, I'll start. Um, this student is Brennan Middleton, and it says Brennan is not in any of my classes. But every time you see me, you always say hello, and you say something positive, and it makes me smile. I think this one's really cool, because Brennan probably has no idea who this person is. They're not in any classes with him, and he's just doing something really small in the hallway that's definitely making this person's day, and I, I think that's outstanding what Brennan's doing. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, mine is uh, Charlotte Busby. Hi, Charlotte. Uh, I don't know you. I'm Mr. Rodriguez. Nice to meet you. Charlotte uh, is one of the kindest, most caring, and funniest people I know. Fantastic. What makes her special is how she treats everyone around her with kindness and respect. She has the best jokes. Huh? We'll judge that. We'll have to ask. And always makes me laugh. She is very hardworking in her sports and school. Good balance there. She always makes everyone feel included, and she is an amazing teammate and friend. Charlotte, I'd like to uh, get to know what sports you play, and uh, maybe you can get, share with me a joke. So congratulations, and thank you for being such an awesome person. What we have for you is... Uh, yeah, we have uh, large two-topping pizzas from Papa John's. They are our... Uh, uh, they, they back us with our character program, so... Um, they give us these to, to give out to you guys, and we try to order Papa John's uh, whenever we are doing pizzas here. And uh, yeah, Charlotte's a member of um, our athletics, and I hear great things about Charlotte from her teammates and her coaches as well. So I think we have two great selections this awesome. week. Awesome. So, Good job. And granted, they're your selections. We didn't write these up. Right. You guys wrote these right. up. So um, we are not going to any classes this week because we don't have any classes to go to this week. But we typically go to classes on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Thanks and congratulations. Next up. Hi, I'm Ashlyn. Hi, I'm Olivia. And we're part of the of strength. strength. Of course, it's in the wheel every day. Of course, I believe in mental health awareness. Hi, I'm Emmett, and I'm part of Sources of Strength. Of course, I make this school a better place. Oh. Hi, I'm Miss Meyer. I'm an adult leader for Sources of Strength. I rely on my friends, family, and coworkers for my source of strength. I'm here to help you find yours. I'm Maggie, and I'm part of Sources of Strength. Of course, I'm trusted to go. Hi, I'm Bubba. I'm in Sources of Strength. Of course, I like school. Hi, I'm Luke from Sources of Strength. Of course I have fun. Next up, mark your calendars. This Friday, May 10th, students make sure to power down your computer all the way so that you have to re-log in. This update will be necessary for map testing next week. Why can I not read? May 14th is Everyone Wear Pink Day to support Mrs. Hubbard in her battle with cancer. May 14th through 15th is MAP testing. All students go, will go to First Bell, and some may get a movement ticket. Remember, everyone, oh wait, everyone remember that the Bell schedule is different on testing days. Congratulations, students. We hit the goal. 91.8% of us students did not receive a referral in April. We earned a snowy day, also known as a shaved ice day, that will be available for us to purchase at a discount price on Thursday, May 16th. If you plan to purchase a snowy to celebrate, remember to bring $2 to purchase during your lunch time. May 23rd is 8th grade day celebration at Blue Ash Civic Center for those 8th graders making excellent choices. May 30th is the last day of school, but the countdown begins 16 school days until summer break. Next, Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to all those celebrating today, including Lucas N. Alexis T. Wesley B. Hope you have a wonderful birthday. Now over to the joke of the day. What is a witch good at in school? I don't know. What? Spelling. Ha 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 it's like a preschool subject or whatever grade. That was so funny. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cause I'm a funny person. Yeah. I can't lie. Be the best extra. 
Three, two, one. Be the, the best, best extraordinary, extraordinary person that you can be, be Sycamore. Follow our PBIS expectations every day. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go A's! Go A's! <laughs> that was good. <laughs>